I am Anil Kumar and in this example we will try to solve an exponential equation. Now 3 to the power of x minus 3 to the power of minus x equals to 1 could be written in a quadratic form and then solved. Let us see how. So the equation given to us is 3 to the power of x minus when it is 3 to the power of minus x I could write this as 1 over 3 to the power of x equals to 1. Now we can multiply both sides by 3 to the power of x. So every term will now be multiplied by 3 to the power of x on both the sides. Then you get here 3 to the power of 2x minus 1 equals to 3 to the power of x. Bringing them together on the left side we get 3 to the power of 2x minus 3 to the power of x minus 1 equals to 0. Right? Now that is a quadratic equation which we need to solve. Now to solve this equation, what we can do is we can substitute. Let us say, let us say 3 to the power of x is equals to uh, p. In that case, 3 to the power of 2x will be equals to p square, right? So substituting p for 3 to the power of x, we get p square minus p minus 1 equals to 0. Now to solve this, we can apply the quadratic formula. So let's apply the quadratic formula and then solve. If you remember, the quadratic formula is minus b plus minus b square minus 4 is c. So if the equation is, uh, let me write down the quadratic formula here. If the equation is ax square plus bx plus c, then x is equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 is c over 2a, right? So that is the formula which we are going to apply. Here, a, b, and c are 1, minus 1, and minus 1. Our variable is p, right? So we can write this as p equals to minus p, that means it becomes 1, plus minus, square root of 1 square is 1, minus 4 times 1 times minus 1 square root, divided by 2a, so 2, right? So we get 1 plus minus square root of 1 plus 4 divided by 2 and that gives us 1 plus minus square root of 5 divided by 2. So that is the value of P, right? Now from this value, so we get two different values of P. One is 1 plus square root 5 over 2, the other one is 1 minus square root 5 over 2. Now as far as the exponent is concerned, we have p as equals to 3 to the power of x. That means 3 to the power of x could be equal to these two values, right? So we have now two solutions. One is 3 to the power of x is equals to 1 plus square root 5 over 2. And the other one is 3 to the power of x equals to 1 minus square root 5 over 2, right? So these are two different values equations for us. To solve these equations we can take log and then solve it, right? So we can say what is log of 3? So let's just take log and solve these equations one by one. So first one is 3 to the power of x equals to 1 plus square root 5 over 2. So when we take log we get log of x times log of 3 equals to log of 1 plus square root 5 over 2, right? So from here we can say x is equals to log of 1 plus square root 5 over 2 divided by log of 3, right? So that is how we can solve this equation. Now let us look into the second equation. What is square root of minus 5? If I do square root of 5, I get a number in decimals which is 2.23. So 1 minus 2.23, we are going to get a negative value, right? Now remember one thing, 3 to the power of x is an exponential function, right? So if you actually graph this function, how is it going to look like? It is going to look like this. It is always positive, never negative. So this one gives no solution. You get an idea. So we only get solution from 
the positive value of p, right? So, therefore, we indeed have just one solution. So, you can always use calculator to write down this solution, right? So, that is our answer. So, that is how you can calculate the value of x or solve the given equation using combination of logarithms and exponential learnings. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.